Hey, hello guys. This is Kadik from ExecuteAutomation.com, and this is part one of our Understanding Appium video series. And in this part, we are going to do a introduction to Appium. And this part is going to be a first part of the whole Appium series. Actually, in ExecuteAutomation.com, we are going to have an exclusive videos on Understanding Appium, Appium with C Sharp. Appium with Java and Appium on Windows as well as in iOS operating system. So for whole tutorials that we are going to discuss in upcoming videos of this video series, this understanding Appium video series is going to be a base since this video series is going to be a foundation for the upcoming videos of this video series. Right? So let's get started. So Appium is an open source tool for automating mobile applications, which can be a native mobile application, it can be a hybrid mobile application, or it can be a web-based mobile application. So Appium support all these three different kinds of mobile application technologies. Appium also supports platforms such as Android, iOS, and Firefox operating system. If we compare Appium with some other automation testing tools like Robotium or Cylindroids, which are most common and famous automation testing tools like Appium, these tools either support Android and iOS or both or either one of them, but not at least Firefox operating system. But Appium support all these three operating system effortlessly. If you have already watched the videos on the video series of Robotium, then you can compare how Appium is easy than compared to Robotium itself. Alright, so Appium has got its own philosophies. Appium was designed to meet mobile automation needs according to a philosophy outlined by following four tenants. You shouldn't have to recompile your app or modify it in any ways in order to automate it. You shouldn't be locked into a specific language or framework to write and run your test. A mobile automation framework shouldn't reinvent the wheel when it comes to automation APIs. And a mobile automation framework should be open source in spirit and in practice as well as in name. Well, we're going to discuss all these four philosophy in greater detail in upcoming slides. The first one, shouldn't have to recompile your app, which is great and which is awesome since Robotium doesn't support this feature. You need to recompile your app to support automation in your application. Well, we don't have to recompile or modify anything in our application under test to platform automated test with Appium. Since Appium under the hood uses the vendor specific framework, meaning Android's UI automator is developed by Android developers. Similarly, for iOS, the UI automation is developed by Apple Inc. Well, we'll talk more about this vendor specific frameworks and what is UI automator, what is UI automation, all those things in upcoming videos of this video series. But till then, just hold tight. We'll discuss more about that in upcoming videos. Well, as of now, just understand that Android has got its own vendor specific frameworks, which is nothing but UI automator. Similarly, iOS has its own vendor specific framework which is nothing but UI automation developed by Apple. The second philosophy is shouldn't be locked into a specific language. Well, since Appium has extended web driver client library, if you guys have already an understanding of what web driver is, what Selenium is and all those stuff, then surely this is going to be a very, very easy and cakewalk for you since Appium has extended WebDriver client library. So Appium also support all the languages which WebDriver supports, like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, Perl, PHP, whatever you name it, all these languages are supported by Appium as well, and which is great. So if you are coming from different programming background, then you can write these kinds of 
programming language for your appium as well and then the third philosophy is shouldn't reinvent the wheel meaning appium has extended the web drivers json wire protocol with some additional api specific for mobile purpose hence the standard is still the same as web driver hence satisfying the rule number three well we'll talk more about web driver json wire protocol in third video of this video series well until then just hold tight we'll just run through these slides quickly and the fourth philosophy which is the last philosophy of the appium is should be open source as we already know appium is an open source automation testing tool and satisfying the fourth rules which is great so this is what is the appium's introduction and these are the philosophies of the appium and if you see the philosophy itself, it addresses very clearly that this is what Appium is and you can easily use it. Well, in upcoming videos of the video series, you'll understand the greater features which Appium has got and how easy it is to learn and start writing your code in just within hours. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.